Hey, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be discussing about the concept of trimming, which is almost unavoidable in modern day circuits due to PVT variations and the need for high precision. Trimming refers to the process of fine tuning or adjusting specific component values to achieve a desired performance. During the design phase, we adopt a one size fits all approach wherein we choose the optimal component sizes or values so as to achieve a desired performance. What I mean by one size fits all is that suppose you design for a certain parameter y to be constant with x. That might happen in one corner, but in other corners you might get something like this. As you can see, there's a variation from the nominal design that we designed for. Now what if we want higher precision, in other words, lower variation? Well, that's where trimming comes into place. Trimming can involve the adjustment of registers, capacitors, current sources, GM blocks or anything else depending upon the designer's creativity. The key idea is to add an additional knob so as to compensate for variations that might affect the functionality of a circuit across different corners. This of course comes with an additional circuit complexity and test costs. Well, test time as well. Nevertheless, it might be necessary in some applications. As an illustration, let's assume that you want to generate a constant current reference from a reasonably good voltage reference. There are much better ways to do it than what I am about to show next, but the idea here is to illustrate the concept of trimming. By the way, if you are curious about constant voltage references, then you may check my previous videos on the principle of a band gap reference, which I have shared in the comments below. Coming back to the example, one simple way to generate a constant current reference is by passing that voltage onto a resistor and thereby converting it to a current by the virtue of the Ohm's law. However, in order to copy that current and also to not disturb the reference voltage by sucking current from it, what we can do about it is to employ negative feedback to mirror that voltage onto a resistor and then use another transistor to source the required current. This will keep the reference voltage isolated so as to not disturb its value. By the way, do verify if this loop is indeed in negative feedback. I might have intentionally kept it in positive feedback. You can let me know in the comments below. In the following circuit, we get a current of VREF by R which can be mirrored to other branches. The problem here is that R varies with process and so does the current. By the way, in some cases, we might actually want a current that varies inversely with the resistance value. For this video, let's assume that we require a constant current reference. We can ameliorate this issue if we get to know which corner the chip would be in so that we can choose the resistor value accordingly. Meaning that if we know that the chip would be in a strong corner where the actual resistance value is 0.8 times the desired value, Then we can design it to be 1 by 0.8 times so that after the process variation, we get the right R value. And consequently, the correct desired current. Let's see how we can achieve this. Suppose you have a series of resistors connected with switches in parallel. Now R can be tuned between R min to R min plus 7 times R naught in this example. So if the switch is on, you would essentially bypass the resistor because we will design the on resistance to be much smaller than the resistor value. And alternatively, if the switch is off, then the current flows through the resistor because we designed the off resistance of the switch to be much higher than the resistor value. This sort of arrangement is called a DAC and it is often binary weighted. 
there is another type called thermometer coded but we won't discuss that in this video the interested ones of you can check it out online so to reiterate you would find through simulations how much your resistor value is varying across your application cases and then you would design the resistor dac accordingly so as to cover that range there are various types of trimming such as laser trimming in which you use a laser beam to precisely remove the excess resistive material so as to precisely change its value next there's fuse based trimming where you blow up a fuse to alter the connection and modify the effective resistance values and then there's digital trimming in which you use a dac that adjusts the analog components depending upon the control signal that it gets from some control logic in today's video we discussed a manual way of doing it however it can be done automatically by designing a logic that automatically senses the current value and adjusts the trim code that is which switches to turn on and off accordingly to summarize trimming refers to the adjustment or fine tuning of components in a circuit so as to get a desired result across corners the accuracy depends on the resolution of the trimming that we use in the case of the dac it would be the lsb of the dac which predicts the minimum adjustment that we can make to the device value well if you like this video then make sure you like the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one